I just want to talk a little bit for the last sort of five minutes about Amplify and then we'll have a few Q&A uh, questions and happy to pick up some stuff offline. But the whole idea behind Amplify is to create content once in one place. When I create that content, I want to be able to select the right channel that I want to send that content on. When I push that content out, I want to have a helicopter view on how that content is landing on those different channels that I've sent that publication to. That's what I'm trying to achieve with Viva Amplify. So when I start up Viva Amplify, effectively, what it will allow me to do is to automatically set up a Teams ch um, channel in the background. And that is for all of those users that are part of that campaign. That gives us the ability to communicate about what's happening with this campaign. And we class a campaign as a series of publications that are interlinked. So let's just say, for example, the comms team need to help HR send out some content on benefits changes. Okay, so you'll have a benefits enrollment uh, campaign that is set up. You'll have people from different stakeholders from different parts of the business that are involved in that campaign. So you'll have maybe HR people in there that are um, approvers of the campaign. You'll have people in the internal comms team that are creators and owners of the campaign, for example. So they'll work together. You've got a set of templates that you can leverage to create your content. And as you can see here, I can invite people and manage the membership of people in the um, particular campaign. What I can also see is all the recent publications that we've created and where they are. So I can see that this one is published. I can see straight away that this has been viewed by 18,000 people. I can see that this one is in the process of publishing. This one is in the approval stage and we're still drafting this content. So really just giving you that view of where we are in that particular campaign. So the whole idea is I go into this view where I create content here and, and what we're looking at is content in the Outlook view. But if I click on the edit piece, I can choose the recipients or the distrib distribution group that I want to send this to. I can set up an approval process if I want this to be viewed before it's published out to the business. I can choose once again who those approvers are, and then I can set a message, send that out, publish, and it will do that automatically. But the most important piece, and I'm going backwards here, is that when I create that content once, I can edit it and look at it from a SharePoint, a Viva Engage perspective and also Teams. And what will happen is that that document will re-render into the type of view that it will be for that particular solution that I'm sending it on. So we can do it all once and in the same place, have an approval process, send it out, be ready to publish. And the most important thing is, because I've sent it out from one place rather than going into SharePoint, creating content and sending it out, I'm no longer relying upon each separate channel to provide me with analytics. What I can see here is that actually we've pushed it out to three channels. 18,000 people have viewed it. What channels are they viewing it on? Outlook, SharePoint and Teams. It looks like Outlook is probably the best place to send this type of information on, right? I can also see who's promoting this content, so who's sharing it further. And it tends to be that when this content is sent out, it is more so promoted in SharePoint and Teams. And as you can see here, it's broken down by the application, the views, the promotions, the comments, positive, negative, neutral. But depending on the attributes you have in Active Directory, I can cut this data further, potentially into uh, geographic groupings of where people are in the organization and so forth. 